for all of you who think mining is easy or in general and trying to balance life and being a strong man it's fucking hard man you know um things will hopefully improve in the days to come where i can get some good food in some good recovery some good sleep get some good training sessions in What's up fams? So, uh, tomorrow I fly out of Gold Coast and head back to Western Australia to a little town called Kalgoorlie. Now, for those of you who do not know, uh, I work in the mining industry um, and I have been for the last 12 years. Um, I work in a little town called Kalgoorlie which we then venture out throughout the gold fields to uh, gold mines. So tomorrow I head back to work to go back over and pretty much get things moving again and get back into it. So. Time to get back to reality fam, so here we go. Um, I'm at the airport, I'm about to head to Western Australia for work, so let me take you on a journey to Kalgoorlie Fano and show you what happens in the mining town. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock at night, um, just doing my meals for tomorrow, so just got some mints there, uh, just seen some onions up in the pot, I've got some rice in the microwave. So yeah, just prepping my food before I go back to work tomorrow. I'm doing 12 hour shifts at the moment. So you got to eat the food in order to have the energy after doing 12 hour shift to go and train. So meal prep on guys, it's quite late. I'm probably getting six hours of sleep, not even that. And then working all day, so it's trying to find the balance at the moment. It's pretty hard, but it is what it is fams. Knees bloody moaning and sulking about it. Find a solution. What's up guys? So on the road again, as you can see I'm in the middle of nowhere. See? Uh, just heading out to a mine site to catch up with some clients, go over a few things for an upcoming shutdown. So hit the road early and we are on fams. Back to work we go and yeah, let's go. Hi guys, wow. Just traveled like five hours um, for a meeting. So I'm about to go into the meeting. Um, one thing about working in the mines, guys, is that the mine sites, the mine sites aren't just down the road. They're like down the road. So you're driving for hours before you even get there. So five hour drive, gonna go in and do this meeting and then drive all the way back. Mm. What's up guys, um, just here at the prison, wow, went in there and caught up with a couple of guys, um, this is where I did my time, Eastern Goldfields Reason Prison, um, while here, you know, I made some amazing friends, you know, I met some guys that have made some, some mistakes in their life, but, you know, they're here trying to build themselves up and move on from it all, and some of these guys are doing like eight years, six years, you know, and they don't have any family here, and they don't get any visits, so, every time I come to Cal, you know, I'll make it my mission to come and see these guys you know tell them the positive things that I'm doing on the outside you know just to try and inspire them to keep on track and keep doing what they're doing you know it's I know what it's like behind that gate there you know and I know how you know how much goes on and then what they go through so you know doing a little thing like this can help out someone so much inside there I know that because my family was on the other side of Australia and you know I only got like one visit from them and it plays on your mind when no one comes to see you. you know, I had friends here in Cal that came to see me, but you almost feel like no one cares. So to do this today for some of these guys, you know, I've got a few visits tomorrow. You know, I know for a fact they're going to be walking back to their cells, you know, on a high. Just hearing what I'm up to, but also just caring. Caring about them, you know, so. Nah, I feel real positive about that today, so. I thought I'd share that with you guys, so. Hell yeah. Hey guys. Ah, it's, um, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, we got a call out today at 3 o'clock to go to a site and do a quick job. Um, the job was only meant to take an hour, but man, we just did an 11 hour shift, unexpected. 
Uh, well, I wasn't prepared. I didn't have much food on me. Um, actually, today was our day off from working all week, so that got cut short, you know. Um, yet again, pushing my body to its limits, you know, far out. I'm not even eating near enough food that I need to to keep up with the sport that I love to do, you know, so sort of playing on my mind a bit. My body's exhausted. Um, I'm tired as, you know. So I've got a few hours sleep before I have to get back up and start getting things organized for the next job, so. <sighs> yeah. For all of you who think mining is easy, or in general, and trying to balance life and being a strong man, it's fucking hard, man, you know? Um, things will hopefully improve in the days to come, where I can get some good food in, some good recovery, some good sleep, and get some good training sessions in, but it is what it is. Two o'clock in the morning. Mm. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Guys, meals are done for the day. Ooh. Yeah. Rice mints. So I've got two there. I've got another four in the fridge. That'll see me through to tomorrow Avo. So get the food in there. Yeah. So guys, I've been in the mines now for a few for a few days and um Yeah, just want to share with you that I'm really struggling, eh? Trying to balance it, you know. I'm doing 12 hour, 14 hour shifts and I'm a scaffolder which means I'm doing laboring so I'm carrying equipment up and down stairs throughout the day at the same time I'm trying to squeeze in my meals which is hard and after work trying to find the encouragement to go and train so it's been real hard these last few days you know just trying to adjust to what I'm used to just to getting back into work and you know I'm staying in this little room here um, I'm cooking my meals after I train at night, you know, so I'm getting up at like Five in the morning then not going to bed till like late after I do all my meals. Yeah, so it's been really hard trying to balance eh? but It's something that I have to adapt to you know, but My vision still stays the same, you know, I'm still more focused than ever You know, which makes me get off my ass after work and get my mind right and get into the gym and hit the numbers You know, I'm still hitting the numbers I need to, you know, I'm still focused on what I need to achieve, you know, and it just it's just proven that if you want something, guys, you know, get off your ass and go for it. Don't make excuses, no matter what your situation. I'm not. It is what it is. This is how it is, and, you know, if anything, it's making me stronger mentally and physically, so just want to share that with you guys. Mm. Besides from that, guys, yeah. Yeah, we on. We still going. We strong. Yes, please. Hey guys, welcome to our weekly vlog. My name is Rungo Keen, also known as The Warrior. For those of you who don't know anything about me or my strongman journey, jump on the page, watch the videos, share and like. This channel here is specifically to go in depth of what I get up to in my life leading up to strongman competitions and my goal to become World Strongest Man. Damn, son. Yeah.